Hello, everyone. Welcome. And today we are discussing the upcoming bid opportunities. Sunday Fun Day is the day. Happy Sunday to all of you out there watching me on the day of the actual recording. Thank you so much for joining my channel, my content, YouTube, the place where we teach government contracting taught by actual practitioners, not by theorists. So again, today's video, we're discussing upcoming opportunities on beta.sam. But before we jump into that, I just want to let you know tomorrow's Mastermind Monday with Judy Bratt is the five people need to meet federal players and layers methodology, as she calls it. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Let's jump right into today's video. We're over here on our favorite website, beta.sam, and we are looking at this week's upcoming search results. For all of the new people out there, we when I'm looking on beta.sam, the reason why I use beta.sam and by the way, if you don't know already, um, I've got this old famous video on the six methods I use to make big bucks on FBO. The content is still applicable to beta.sam. We're just using a new platform. So go ahead and watch that video. But some of the reasons why I use beta.sam is to do market research. And in doing my market research, I want to find out what upcoming opportunities are happening in the future. Why? So that we can get prepared today. Again, I want to learn about upcoming opportunities in the future so I can get prepared today because if you wait until the opportunity comes out today, there's probably someone else already in mind for that opportunity. So they've already got the jump start. They've got the lead. They are ahead of you. So you don't want to wait until the opportunity is out. You want to do a look ahead. So I'm going to show you today how do we do a look ahead. By the way, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the things that we have, my information is on the screen. Feel free to text me or send our team an email at service at govcongiants.com. So back on the screen over at beta.sam, what I look for is contract opportunities. If you just click contract opportunities, you'll see mine yields 94,000 results. Uh, what we do is like to narrow that field down. And for me... In particular, I want to look at these sources sought. So let's go back and look at publish date. We'll go back and look, say, a week. Make sure you click the filter button to filter your list. And then type of notices, we click sources sought. And that brings us to 423 results. Now, uh, beta.sam actually made some changes, and they're supposed to be allowing us to actually view uh, up to 20 or 30 results on the page at the same time. So that you're not having to scroll through and go through 43 pages here. Um, however, I don't see that field updated yet. So what I'd like to do is I actually take this information and I click the download button here, download it in a .csv file, and then I open it up on another screen. And so fortunately for you, I've already done that. And this is what the result looks like when I open it up in Excel. Now, if you were to open it up in, say, like a Google Sheets, it might be a little bit more difficult. I still use the Excel because Excel allows me to open it up, pull it down. And now what this does is we can go through all 423 results in seconds, if not minutes. But we can easily scroll through. We don't have to worry about filtering through 42 pages of click, look, click, look, click, look. So, again, it just makes it easier when you're trying to do this on a day in and day out basis. And for a lot of us out here, we don't have secretaries or we don't have a, a procurement person or a, a proposal writer. It's us or maybe our assistant that's going through and having to look for these upcoming opportunities. So we definitely want to make this stuff easier for folks out there. So again, we're over here on our Excel spreadsheet. Now, one of the things I want to bring up is that people have been using this technique and they've been doing the source of thoughts uh, and they've been looking at pre-solicitations and sometimes they're submitting them and they're not getting results and they're wondering why. Again, this is a part of a three-tier process that we go through to put you in a position to have access to contract opportunities. Um, but this is not the end-all be-all. This is just one avenue for people to pursue okay and this is another way for you to market yourself so again if you were trying to break into any industry if it's radio if it's movies if it's netflix you got to find more than one way to try to get access to the opportunity so again this is just one of many ways one in particular of three that i like to use uh, on a consistent regular basis this is one of three ways to do that uh, so again just keep that in mind when you're doing this the other thing i want to say is when you're looking at all of these opportunities on the screen, you're saying to yourself, I could do this, I could do this, I could do that, I can do that. You may have the 
actual technical prowess, right? So you've got the competency and say, okay, I understand that from a technical standpoint. However, if you don't have the team to back it up, to be able to demonstrate to the government that you have the ability to do this, they may not consider you for that opportunity. So again, I just want people to look at things that they know that if the government was to award them a contract today, that you could actually do. And if you can't do that, find someone else who can. And that's just all. That's all. It's not that I want you to not respond or not do these activities, but I don't want you spending a lot of time in wills if you're not truly and generally qualified to submit on the opportunity. So again, the government's going to look at this stuff and say, this guy isn't, or this girl uh, does not have the ability to perform this type of work. Uh, I can tell you about a recent uh, situation that we submitted something just recently, um, wrote it up, sounded great. And then the government responded in two days and asked us, can you give us the actual manufacturer for your system? How many do you have? How many can you get access to? And the person who submitted it didn't have the information. So again, don't be that person who um, submits something and doesn't actually have access to what it is he or she is proposing. All right. So let's go back over to the screen and let's just take a look at some opportunities uh, that are out right now. And as you can see on my list, this is as of, oh, let me move this box over so you can see. All right. You see my list, February 19th, last modified, February 19th for most of these on the page, February 24th. So these, this, everything is here is brand new. Just, it's just been released in the last week or so, and there's 423. Like, what I see is on average is about 450 to 550 opportunities every week. So if there's something that you see, and you're saying to yourself, well, Eric, I could do this right now, but I don't have everything I need. Don't worry. They come out. These things come out often. So don't feel the need, the impulse, the anxiety on yourself, the pressure saying that you don't have all the things that you need and you can't do it. Um, there will be more opportunities coming out. Uh, however, I would encourage you or, or, or say to yourself, this is going to help you to be prepared for which the things that you do need to do. So the team members that you need to have, the people that you need to associate with, the subcontractors, suppliers, all of those pieces of the puzzle that you need to complete that puzzle. This will help you start realizing what those things are so you can get prepared. So let's scroll through, take a look and see what's out this particular uh, last week. Let's see. We've got some uh Testing and training systems. We've got a support contract over here. Vessel escort services. Uh, sounds like they're moving some ships. Yep. And Puget Sound. Um, let's see. Uniforms out here. Desk and conference room reservation tool. I know some, some people that can probably put something together for that. Uh, enterprise secure network. Bus services in Alaska. Let's see. Uh, what else we have out here? Artificial Intelligence Virtual Boot Camp Seminar. I just, oh my goodness, I have someone in mind for that. I'm going to highlight this particular opportunity uh, because I do have someone in mind for that particular one. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and take a look. What I like to do so I can show you guys my process. I like to copy the actual ID number. And then we head over here, back over to the other page, and I'll cut and paste it right here in keywords, pull it up, and we actually go through and read and read and see what this is discussing. Artificial intelligence, virtual boot camp seminar. There's so many people in this AI space and they're wondering, how do I break into the government? How about doing a boot camp seminar? No, it may not be actually implementing your technology, but it's a way to let the government know who you are and what you're about. And also to give you a leg in and get you some past performance. All right. They want you to be able to deliver these technical capabilities administer educational interactive sessions on a virtual platform. Uh, and look, this is what they're asking you to submit, these six items here. So this is something that's definitely doable. Um, but like we said here, look, they want to show where you have historical performance, and it doesn't have to be related to the government. So your historical performance does not have to be. It says here, contracts defined by federal, state, local government contracts, as well as private contracts. You see that? So a lot of people are giving out information saying that you can't do it with past performance from private contracts, but clearly it states here that you can, and that's um, a wonderful thing. This is with the National Institute of Health. So I will save that. I've got someone in mind already for that opportunity, and we're going to continue on moving forward. So let me see what else is out here. Source of software, NASA, no, uh, hazardous waste, electrons, architecture, engineering surveys, waste disposal services, rental equipment, library support services. Let's see, reporting tools, 
leasing related space in Houston, Texas. Sounds like to me the government's looking for uh, office spaces to re- to actually re- move some offices that were impacted by these latest weather storms. Pressure washing services. I know all these car wash guys out there. Come on, where are my pressure washing services? Dry cargo time charter, 39 day. That sounds like my transportation logistics folks always asking me for contract opportunities. Uh, replacement of security systems, security systems, uh, industry day event that they want to hold, ground maintenance contract, great way to break in if you are a landscape person. Let's see who else we have out here. Courier services. All right, come on. Where's all my folks out here who want to work for Amazon? Facilities relocation. Again, that's moving people. Uh, we just had a student virus respond to a source of thought for a re- facilities relocation. A few weeks later, uh, she was negotiating a contract, and over the weekend, a few weeks ago, she actually moved, and this was a VA facility that she actually moved them. Gave her, essentially, she uh, it was a simplified acquisition, and uh, she negotiated directly with the government. So definitely take a look at that facilities relocation. In fact, I'm going to, let me highlight it. Let's jump over to the other screen and take a look at the facilities relocation. We're going to open up in a new tab. Let's take a look at it and see. Just kind of, again, this is, let's see. I just want people to look. Uh, U.S. Marine Corps looks at Major Command, Department of the Navy. All right, there's some machinery that has to be moved, and there's the building layout for the machinery. Pretty straightforward. So you pull it up, take a look, pull up on the web page here. You gotta have experience in providing the, the services. Put your point of contact, your phone number, and an email address. I mean, that's pretty basic, folks. <laughs> it's pretty basic. So, all right. Let's jump back over, keep the party going. All right, let's see, airborne systems. Uh, so they want to purchase surgical table. Okay, this was a solar social ward, some solar turbines, heavy equipment repairs. More lease space in Houston, Texas. It looks like to me, if you've got space in Houston, Texas, the government needs your help. Please reach out to them. I look, a lot of people need help out there right now, so we're praying for the people out in Texas. Removal of concrete floating docks, uh, jet fuel fryer trainer, armed secure carrier services. Again, more lease office space. This is GSA, Region 3. What else? Cotton seeds, rooftop chiller, remove and replacement. If if I were someone, and let me, let me I'm going to pull this up and give you an example People ask me about the middleman strategy that we talk about. This is a really good example of that. All right, so let me give you an example of the middleman strategy in real life. So you're here, you're watching me, and whether you bought my course or not, this is a free video on YouTube. You're watching me and you're saying, okay, Eric, show me what you're talking about. How's the middleman strategy work? Okay, this is an example of the middleman strategy. Uh, you come on here, you watch me, you co- you're looking at sources of thought. The person, the company who actually does rooftop chillers does not have a person looking at source of sauce. They don't even know what that is. Place of performance for Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, okay, I'm I'm sitting back, I'm watching. Eric, I'm in or around the Philly region, or I'm close enough to Pennsylvania that I can call some people out there. Uh, and so now you look at this job, and you now have the advantage of knowing that this project is coming out. So the government is, is willing, is saying to themselves, hey, this project... They're looking for market research to determine who can do this. And this is all they're asking for. Company name, Dunn's number, cage code, da 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 All right? So now this is your opportunity to reach out to someone in that area who does chiller replacements. Right? And you want to say, hey, I have a project that I'm working with the government where they are needing a rooftop chiller replacement. The project is not finalized yet, but we have the information that it's coming out in the near future. Is it something that your company is interested in doing? All right. Yes. Excellent. Listen, because the project is not completely out, we don't need a price just now. So don't worry about actually pricing the job. The government wants to just make sure 
that you have the past performance necessary. You've got the experience to be able to do it when the contract is out. Sounds good? Yes. Okay, great. Can you provide me your business resume or a list of products that you've done in the past of similar size and nature where you remove a chiller, right? That air cool, 150 ton, blah, 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 all this stuff. Oops, sorry. Okay, yes, great. Now you have that information that you can submit on behalf of this company. I know a lot of times people want to make this thing really tricky, really confusing, um, and it, it's really not. The, the, you are essentially uh, helping provide a service, helping the government uh, be able to reach out to people who they don't have the ability to reach out to because this is the government's way of advertising this. Uh, they don't have the ability. To, I mean, they do have the ability, but they typically don't uh, pick up the phone and start calling people that are not within their database to ask them to come into the government's database to offer prices for uh, work perform. So you are helping the government, assisting the government by doing that for them, finding those team members, finding those partners, finding those people, industry professionals and experts that are the best, and you're bringing them onto the government platform. So again, this is a valuable service out here. Uh, that's just one example uh, of something. Let's see, ice machine, cleaning, sanitation, uh, more leasing of office space. Uh, again, temporary facilities out here. Let's see, where is this at? Okay, that's Italy, a little bit far. Uh, corrosion control services, design build, family housing projects, uh, life support, Guam. They got, let's see. Um, GSA, vehicle washing service, Riverside National Cemetery. The, the guy or girl who washes cars is not looking on here at car washing opportunities. Uh, more lease office space. Find that person who's washing cars, help put this thing together, and put together a team to go out here and do this. Aviation training program. All where all my people that do all the training. Small business event. All right, General Dynamics is holding a virtual business opportunity event. That's nice. Transportation services. Uh, people are asking me. This is for the Office of Refugee Resettlement and the Division of Unaccompanied Minor Children's Operations Program. And a couple of alien children. All right, transportation services for them. Technical instructor support. Gun parts. I mean, they they have all types of opportunities out here. More A and E services for architects and engineers. Maintenance services. They got stuff in Bangladesh. Looking for transportation, power generation, material handling of equipment. Siemens software upgrades. There's a lot of stuff out here, folks. More leasing in, in Houston, Texas. More leasing in Houston, Texas. Uh, satellite maintenance. DTS support services. I don't know what that is. That's why I skipped it. For all those people wondering, well, Eric, why did you skip DTS support services? Because I don't know what that is. Animal storage supplies. Sorry, I know I'm clicking the wrong thing, but it's right above it. It's just my mouse. What else? Help oh, does follow on cost estimating services for construction projects. I know there are people out here that do cost estimating for a living. Uh, they're looking for folks to help with that. Occupational medical and health services. Bulk fuel delivery. Uh, we've got some fuel people out here. Data collection. Give me something good. All right. Foreign partner cyber training. They're looking for some cyber training. Who out there who's done cyber training before? Um, they're looking for some people out here who can help do cyber training. I know I've got training personnel out here. I know I've got some experts that do that have done this before in the past. Professional services to support IT training at Foreign Service Institute School of Applied, Techn uh, Applied Information Technology. Again, more training opportunities. Um, more grounds maintenance services and snow removal. Oh, they're building two big vocational trade expansion schools. Ooh, job course. 
All right, those are nice projects. Replace elevators. I know I have some elevator folks out there. Parking space services, more transportation systems. Statewide food, subsidence, supply. We got, I've got people in GovCon Giants that are into subsidence. They've asked me about subsist, subsist, subsistence. Apologize, I don't say that every day. Media clipping software as a service. Come on, come on. Where's all my people? That can't be that hard. I do that all the time. I'm going to take and clip this video. Can't be too terribly hard. I know how to do it. More uh, recruiting space over in Houston, Texas. They need facilities in Texas. So if you're out there, if you know people who have spaces, come on here. The government's looking. They're looking everywhere they can go. Uh, bear boat charters. Body warm cameras. Spare parts. Where are all my people that sell parts? Dry ice. Global Gene Bank Management Services. Hose Assemblies. Fox Mills in Pittsburgh. Fox Mills in Boise. Come on. I know there's some people out here who know how to do box mills. Paving, IDIQ. Still looking for people that... Paving. Who could do paving all over the place? That's a very... Uh, common business that's widely used in every town USA. Any one of us can pick up the phone book and call a paving contractor and get them on board. Any one of us. Bus transportation services, janitorial services, BPA. Again, a lot of this stuff I hear you, everyone out here, ground support, equipment, procurement. I hear people here telling me they do this, they do that, they do this. Uh, you should be responding. Microfiber mopping system services. All right. I want one more example to go through before I close out this video, and then we're going to let everyone go today. I just want to share some stuff. Uh, again, look at what's coming out, upcoming opportunities. Uh, and then also answer some questions uh, for folks who had questions out there in the marketplace. Because, again, um, I am communicating with people all the time, and we are uh, in our group. Within GovCon EDU, we're discussing all these opportunities. We're looking at them and seeing who has the bandwidth and manpower to be able to fulfill some of these things. So I did want to come on and continue sharing this. Uh, this is a regular session that I do. Uh, look, uh, this is some renovations, design, build. Look at home sleep test monitor. Data entry support. Sounds like they're looking for FTE. Some ammunition. Uh, equipment washdown services. Let me pull that up, and that'll be the last one we'll close out. But yeah, I, I, you know, I always want to remind people out here that there are opportunities for all of us. And if you are not looking, if you are only looking at what comes out for bid, by the time it comes out for bid, some of this stuff will never make it for bid. I can tell you personal experience of myself and students at GovCon EDU that we have received contracts from the source of sites that never made it to bid. Remember that. Some of this stuff will never, ever, ever make it out on public bid, on a public dashboard on beta.sam again. Um, they will negotiate directly with the contractors who responded to this, who have the ability to be able to do these kind of services. Uh, this is one of those kind of opportunities that may, you will look at beta.sam for bids, and you may never see this equipment washdown services ever, ever again, because when they did their market research, they found someone who had the ability to be able to do it, and they're going to work with that company, that person to do it. So just keep that in mind for those people who are waiting for this thing to go to bid, that that just might happen. Now, the funny thing is, uh, and I'm going to switch over to this other screen, is that this services happen to be, <laughs> it's pretty funny, the locations are in Kuwait, Jordan, UAE, and Saudi Arabia. So I guess it's good and bad in a way because it's, it's good because if you have the ability to do it, you're probably one of very few, few, few people that could do it. Uh, it's bad for all the other people who thought that this was in their backyard, USA. So, again, where there is uh, one man's junk is another man's treasure. And so, again, this is a great opportunity and a great example of something where, hey, 
this may be a great opportunity if you're over there. I know we have a lot of Americans that are over in that area. So again, if you're in that area and you think that you have the ability to be able to do this uh, equipment washdown services, definitely an easy way to break into the government contracting room. Hey guys, thank you so much. As always, if you are not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you like. If you are not aware of our free course, we have over 10,000 students who've gone through our free course over at GovCon EDU. Visit our free course. And also this month, the month of February, we are offering an eight-week boot camp that's included with the price of either GovCon 1.0 or GovCon 2.0. Thank you. Stay safe. As always, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you. Happy Sunday.